this one. Uh, what is crossword? I, I hinted to that one last time. And there's a great company in Germany, in Hamburg. Um, like, same procedure, uh, they're great. And they say, okay, we would like to have that content type, but um, um, we don't mind if other people use it as well. So it can become open source. And I just noticed uh, that their grade looks good. Okay, that's great. And uh, they don't mind if, if other people can have it. And it's not done yet, unfortunately. I wanted to finish it in October, but um, didn't work out. But it's not much missing, so um, I'm allowed to demonstrate it to you. And so let's have one more thing, uh, like uh, a famous guy used to say. One more thing uh, is crosswords. And it says crossword, la uh because um, the company is dealing with languages and I thought it might be a good idea to have a content type that deals with language teaching. So let's have a look at crossword. Um, that's how it looks. So um, yeah, pretty straightforward. It's, it's a crossword. So what is special about it? Um, a, a couple of things I'm kind of proud of even. Um, it's a crossword and there are other um, uh, crossword type um, content types. Um, but um, I think this one's pretty pretty advanced and pretty cool. So, of course, uh, what can you do with it? So first of all, um, how would you solve crossword? Maybe you would say, uh, let's look at what, what do I know? Which or which word is cool? Um, this one's my favorite, of course. Seven across would be a turtle. And the turtle in uh, Norwegian is Schildpadde. I love that word because it, it sounds great. And so what would you do? You would click here, of course. Like as a regular user, I say, like who doesn't have any disabilities. So you would click there and expect, okay, um, I can now type uh, Schildpadde on the end I code and uh, Schildpadde, that's turtle. So um, as you can see, that works. And you may also have noticed that it automatically filled out this input field here because these are input fields um, because what was problems of course this one um, is great for people who can see um, but if you have on uh, like if if you can't see well or if, you, if you're even blind um, then you would have problems to solve that content even with a screener so you, even, you, you could you, you can use it with a keyboard you can tap in here and then you can you can do that that's possible and um, the screen reader, reader will announce the field when it's done and that could work. You could try to, to solve it that way. So like, let's say this one would go here and would, would it, the screen reader would say like that you're in a grid field and this one is one across strawberry, seven uh, characters, for example. And then you could start typing. That would work, but it might be a little tedious. So like as a fallback mode, or maybe if you don't like that, that crossword mode, if you don't want to type it there. So people with disabilities can just tap over here and they can go to the field that, I don't know, which one would you like um, to fill out? Like, let's say restaurant. Of course, the A is already in there because I typed uh, Schildpadde. Um, but I can now, I can like, for example, erase it completely and uh, translate a restaurant to Norwegian, which, which would be, uh, Restaurant, <laughs> it is the same word. So that would be the same. And uh, because that is the same, maybe uh, you say, okay, car is also the same. You could, let's, it, it's wrong, but let's say maybe this, this one is also a car. Uh, you could have that one. Uh, what else can we demonstrate? So I've just seen that. So that is why when we have these input fields and they're synced automatically. So it doesn't matter why you change uh, things. It will always be, uh, in sync and um, yeah you may have noticed these ones here these circles of course they indicate oh you, you can have if you want to like a special solution word that would um, be displayed down here so uh, that one has five letters so you would have to come first you would have to complete the whole crossword or you could complete the whole crossword to get the solution word and of course it also gives like if you know that you would get some clues for solving the crossword so that would be uh, is pretty nice um yeah if I would, which is pretty uh, was a good idea of the company i think um, i didn't have that before but they said could we have like a background image it would look much nicer like optional you don't have to have that but otherwise the fields would be black and i think uh, that was a smart choice by them it, it really looks nice i think um 
yeah, what, what else can we do? We can, of course, uh, click on check and we would see, okay, <coughs> what was correct in chill party was correct and uh, restaurant was also correct and uh, car was not correct because it would be bill in Norwegian, like, I guess, short for automobile, automob it's bill. Um, yeah, and if we were interested in the complete solution, of course, if that is allowed, oh, so what does it count? Maybe you're wondering, of course, it, it here it counts the correct um, uh, uh, characters and it subtracts the wrong ones and then you end up with uh, 16. And you could, um, oh yeah, uh, also like design information, I'm not sure if I'm going to change it, this, these, this one doesn't have these plus one and minus one symbols. And I could add them, of course, but I would make them have to make them smaller. And um, I think in that, if the, the crossword was bigger, then it wouldn't make much sense because you would just create noise. So I'll, I didn't put them in right now. But maybe UX designer, I'll con, um, try to get Yelena maybe to confirm that um, that was a smart choice. Maybe she said no, put them in there or do it differently. Then um, I'll change that. And of course, we could check the solution. So um, that would be. Um, the correct solution and uh, one more thing that you may notice here when you have a strawberry yoba in um, Norwegian they have this little um, it's an A um, in Norwegian like an A and an E combined and uh, actually this kind of type isn't limited to ASCII characters so these 26 A to Z characters um, in theory, it could have anything. So if you'd like to create a math crossword with pluses and uh, equal symbols, uh, you could do that as well. That would work. And uh, that's why, why this one is here. You're kind of a special character. But uh, that doesn't cause any problems so far that I've checked. It really works. So I know the standard way is to not have that. But um, um, if you have a link, like if you have wanted to have an apostrophe for for I don't know John's house, if that makes sense. Um, you could could have that as well if you if you wanted to have it. The one thing that we didn't include um, deliberately was like capital letters and small letters. Um, it's always capital letters, so that is a restriction here. But um, you could have could have um, uh, special characters if you wanted to, like pluses and minus and I don't know what. Uh, so let's have a look. Um, oh, oh, damn it! Uh, those are many questions. Uh, um, crossword. Your solution is also great because. You oh yeah, I'll I'll show that in a minute. You're you're a head guy. You're a head guy. Um, yeah, I'll show one more thing in a second. Um, oh yeah, that's interesting. How is the crossword generated? Um, I found a crossword. Oh yeah. Um, we could have a look at the editor maybe in a second. Uh, I can show you, but it's a crossword generator, so it um, it can generate randomly if you want to. But if you uh, want, want to have a fixed uh, crossword, you can design it yourself if you want to. Um, can you continue without retrying? Uh, no, uh, that's not implemented. Uh, maybe we should. Uh, be if you click on retry, it will erase everything. Um, Looks great. Will it be available to use with an interactive book? Oh, I don't know. That's up to um, the H5P guys at Ubel. Uh, let me think briefly, but uh, it's using question. Uh, it shouldn't be a problem technically. That should work. So um, um, I'm impl like there's like an API that I have to use, like a, it's called a contract that I have to, to implement. And I am doing that. So that should work. And um, it's just up to the HRP core team to say, okay, yeah, that would be useful inside interactive book. And then it's like changing three to five lines of code in interactive book to add that in. Um, can you import a list of words? Uh, do you have to each? Yeah, that is something that is still in development. We're thinking about that. Um, but there are two options. You could like could put that into the content type where you have like a text field where you, you could just uh, copy and paste things or upload a CSV file uh, to the content type. And there might be a larger solution um, because Sebastian Rettig, who's a coder in Germany, who created like a, a bulk import um, tool for H5P in general. And that could be used as well to like to create 20 crossword 
ex um, exercises at once. So we're still evaluating um, how that might be done. Can you use uh, Unicode? Uh, yes, you saw it. It can use Unicode. It does. Um, <laughs> any emoji crossword? Yeah, yeah, that would be that will work. I'm I'm not sure how that um, uh, you can design you can use it, but I'm not sure if how how to enter emojis if that would work. How that will work with the keyboard? You could copy and paste definitely. Uh, I would have to look into that how that would work. Uh, maybe we'll have to have an extra interface then. Okay, uh, what was the other thing I wanted to show? Oh yeah, the editor. Oh no, f first the other thing maybe. Um, um, can I show it here? Oh uh, yeah, I, I can. I, I guess I do it that way. Let me. Uh, yeah. So, um, uh, let, let's see if that works now. Oh, let's do it that way. So, uh, and which one is it? Uh, it is. It is. It is. Oh, here it is. Ha. Okay, that mode is strange. Oh, cause it doesn't turn. Um, yeah, let, so you just compare the two images. So first of all, um, you can see the, the regular one in the right bottom. So that's the one we just saw before that is um, on my desktop. And um, you'll notice two differences at least now. So the left one, this one's on my mobile. And uh, you will notice that uh, the, the clues across and down, they, they, you don't see those here because they are down here. So um, it would be pretty tedious if you want to solve that crossword puzzle if you scroll up and down and up and down. So you, you, have, you actually you have two modes. You could say, okay, I ignore the, the real crossword and I'll just solve it that way. Well. I'll um, click here and type free hit, which would be uh, freedom in Norwegian. And as you can see, it's it's synced, so you could do it that way. And you could also decide to say, um, I'll, I'll, um, I, that was, it, it, if you wanted to solve it that way, like using a crossword, you would have to go this and this and this, and would be quite annoying. So as you can see on top of, of the crossword now in, in this mode, um, you also see the clue. So if I click on, let's say six across, it says strawberry and I could now uh, type in your bar. There it is. So um, so that is responsive. So it didn't didn't make much sense to to implement it in a way where you have to do this and that uh, would be pretty annoying. So on top you will always see it's a little small maybe. Um, we're still thinking um, or we were discussing about making it a little bigger. But then um, if the clues are different lengths, would the content would jump up and down and up and down. We didn't want that. So. Um, but you can see, so now you, you don't have to, to scroll up and down. You can still solve the crossword puzzle if you want to. Uh, you see that here. And actually, um, if I go back to the my desktop, um, you, you can also see it here because it's completely responsive. Um, if the, the, the area for this container would be a little bigger, it would even put across here and then down next to it. But um, WordPress seems to limit the, the container for this width, so um, that doesn't make sense, but I can show you the other thing at least. So if I uh, try to simulate like a, like, um, a smaller um, platform, so, so this is like the regular mode that you would have on the desktop, but if you then change the window to make it a little smaller, so now WordPress hi hits something, and uh, so there it is. So you would have like the same mode as on mobile, it would, it, it would, it, well, it's responsive. That's how it's called. 